this. Okay. All right. Go for about. Mm, Mm, 45 minutes, something like that. And, uh, excuse the light. It's back together. Mm. No valve cover leaks, no water leaks that I can see at all. That was one concern. Those two water pipes that go into the back of the timing cover. So, it's back together. Uh, crank that header stud back in. That one, in the center. And uh, as you can see, no, no sealant blobbing out of the side of the cover. Which I think that ended up being a problem. He just I think he used too much, and uh, it caused, you know, that stuff strong, caused some recesses. And then today, my stabilizer started leaking like a pig, so I put the emu in. This thing is huge. <laughs> it's twice the diameter, easily. And you're definitely not doing the pan with that sucker in there, so... Anyway, um, uh, driving the diff and all that, everything went back in. I, I figured out a way. I'm going to do a little video on that to, if you're in your garage, of course. And uh, you got the stuff. Um, it will make it a lot easier. So the lift stuff will be next, but I just wanted to show drove around for about 45 minutes and I can't find a drop so hopefully it stays that way um, one thing that I'm a little concerned about, I don't mean to be paranoid when it's running, I'll do a video tomorrow I guess I'm hearing some slap the chain on the guide, I'm hoping it's just going to wear into the passenger side guide um, I had written Ted, an engine builder, and asked him, you know, he said, yeah, it's, as long as it's just close and kind of, you know, up, up against it, but not really pressing hard on the dri on the driver's side, that's okay. And then, you know, it does ride on the, on this one, on the passenger side. So, hopefully, it will wear into that. Uh, the timing, the dizzy, I got it in perfect, and I've had it marked right there and it basically went exactly to eight degrees which is where I found it runs best with this cam the 261 <coughs> um, excuse me but yeah I'm hearing a little bit of <coughs> only at an idle so I'm it's the only thing I can think of is the chain um, as far as I can see the new power steering pump is not leaking uh, not a drop, and the other one leaked pretty much right away. And it seems quieter, and I bled it properly and all that, so um, should be fine. Uh, just have to burp the coolant tomorrow. I, it seems like my system does that pretty well with this. It just let a little air out as it's warming up, if there's any in there, and I park on the hill right here outside. It seems to work fine. So, well, like I said, she's back in one. Put it all back together today. I basically had a couple hours today and just slapped it all in. I kept the uh, wire harness and all that in one piece along with the cap and just popped it right back on in one piece. It's so much easier. <laughs> um, and then uh, primed the pump and it only took about four or five cranks and pressure came right up. Then I put the coil wire back on, and boom, didn't even take a half a turn, and it started within the first crank, first turn of the starter, so, yeah, 
well, the timing on the chain and all that's uh, the, uh, obviously the chain's in, right? <laughs> so, well, anyway, just thought I'd throw that, throw a video out there real quick t with it together. I'm sorry I didn't get any actually doing it. I just had to keep running out here, and a couple times uh, they use the camera to go to you know recitals and stuff with their grandkids. So there it is. Still in one piece and doesn't appear to be leaking. I'm going to take a little bit of a drive tomorrow, maybe a hundred miles total, and uh, I'll report back. And thanks a lot, guys.